computers, smartphones, and consoles. What do we do when we just need to capture a screen? VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. By the way, I'm Dan, and this is VidIQ, the YouTube tool, academy, and channel that help to educate you along your YouTube journey. Don't forget to subscribe because today we're talking about our favorite tools that we use to capture our screens, whether it's gameplay or a website, and whether it's on a computer or your phone. Now, the settings may vary depending on if you're capturing fast-paced gameplay footage or a website but there's actually a lot of crossover in the types of software we use to do that. Before you start capturing that footage though, you should probably answer yourself a question. In fact, answer it for us in the comments below. What type of content do you produce for YouTube? As creators, we use a lot of different apps and products, and it's worth noting that we're not being sponsored to share any of the ones we're gonna show you here today. First up is NVIDIA Shadowplay. You may already have this and not even know it, depending on if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Shadowplay is built into modern graphics cards, and once you set it up, all you have to do is issue a quick keyboard command, and it will automatically start capturing your screen. If you discovered that, in fact, you do have NVIDIA Shadowplay, I say just stay the course. This is a fantastic software. It gets me the highest quality, highest frame rate footage I've ever had but sometimes it has kind of failed on me. Certain programs just don't work with it. I don't know why, that's just the way it is. So if that's the case or you don't have it, the next software I can recommend is absolutely free. It's OBS Studio. It may take some tinkering to get the settings exactly where you want them to get the highest quality, but there's plenty of tutorials out there to help you do that. And if you're a gamer who's streaming, you could also look into Streamlabs OBS, which is the same thing, but tailored more towards gamers and getting fun alerts while you're live. There are plenty more applications you can use to capture your screen, but these two are top notch and they're free. Let's talk real quick about capturing your screen on a mobile device. As far as mobile goes, iPhone users are all set with built-in screen capturing software that is basically second to none. If you're an Android user though, things are just a little bit more tricky. Certain versions of Android do have built-in screen capture and some don't. So if they don't, my top recommendation for screen capture software is actually AZ Screen Recorder. AZ Screen Recorder is great because there's no watermarks, there's no time limits on recording, and that's for free. There is also a pro version that will unlock some additional features. Capturing your console screen is a whole nother animal, and we actually get asked about this one quite a bit. The PS4 and Xbox One both feature built-in screen capture software, and because I just aged the video and we are looking at a new generation of PlayStation and Xbox on the horizon, I imagine they will still have that feature in the future. Obviously, I don't know that, but I don't see why they wouldn't. As far as the Nintendo Switch goes, I'm afraid there's only one built-in screen capture software, and it only allows you to capture 30 second clips. So if something cool happens in the game, you can quickly hit the screen capture button and just get the last 30 seconds of gameplay saved under your hard drive. For most gaming channels, that's not really enough. So what I recommend doing is investing in a capture card. I actually use the HD60S from Elgato. This is an older capture card now, but it does a great job. And if I was recording PlayStation or Xbox, I would still recommend a capture card personally, just because I enjoy getting nice high quality clips that I can quickly and easily drag from my desktop into my Premiere project and just start editing right away. So just a quick recap, capturing your desktop or your phone is free and easy and you get some really nice high quality recordings. Consoles though, a little bit trickier. It is gonna require an investment on your part, but in the end, you're going to get some nice high quality footage. It's gonna to be totally worth it. And with that, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to vidIQ for more videos like this all the time. We will see you in the next one.